Let me see you put them up. Reach the skies, touch the stars up above. Cause it's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. Hello everybody. Welcome in this small tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix the message you get, the error, uh, error establishing a database connection. So this is uh, especially for people who have a WordPress website. So yeah, what is it? How can we fix this? Really easy. Let's once again jump into my screen. So uh, when you get this um, error, error establishing a database connection, of course, it has to do something with the database. How can you fix that? Really easy. You just um, normally made an error in the database name, the password, database user or the host name. Sounds a little bit technical, really it's not. All you have to do is you just go to your hosting account, you check there the database uh, name, the password, uh, the host name. But let me show you how you can uh, easily uh, do that. So for this um, example, I have set up a setup a test website and um, I'm using FileZilla to uh, check the files in the WordPress website. So once again, looks a little bit technical, really it's not. So you just connect to your website, this is FTP, So and you download this file, you can um, store it on your uh, desktop. Okay. Go to the desktop. This is the file. Okay, and this is the most important uh, part of the video. So, what do we see here? DB name, this means database name, database user, database password, and the host name. When you make an error in one of these, then you will get this error. So on purpose, I have changed this, so let me show you. Normally, database name is, in my case, the same like database user. So what do I do? I just uh, save it, this file. I hit save, I go back to FileZilla, and I uh, hit renew, and I right-click the file and hit upload. Okay, and then I hit OK. I go back to the website, I hit refresh, Take some time, the website is uh, checking if everything is good and uh, bam bam bam, here you are. Okay, this website looks a uh, little bit ugly and uh, basic, but once again it's a test website. Uh, but you see everything is back online again. So let me uh, show you once again. Even if you uh, change the password here or make an error or a space, that's really important because here you see this icon and this, always watch out that there's no space before it. So let's just add something in the password. Let's save it again, let's close it. Go back to FileZilla, we hit refresh here. We upload the file again. Okay, and then we uh, refresh the page and boom, what do we see? Error establishing a database connection. So let's... Uh, Fix this, you already know what the error is, right? I have uh, added a tree here, so let's save this file again. We go to FileZilla, we hit refresh, we upload the file, we go back to the website, and ta -ta -tam, the website is back online. So as you see, it's really important, so you just have to figure out which one uh, of these things is uh, wrong and you see you can test it live so all you need is a filezilla or other ftp program of course uh, the website where you can hit refresh and then of course in your uh, hosting i'm mostly using uh, hostgator for my uh, international websites and uh, there you can uh, check the database um, configuration so it looks and sounds a little bit technical but trust me it's really really easy to do so uh, i hope this helped if you have any uh, problems or issues, uh, just comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.